I know New York. I need New York. I know I need unique New York. Red liver, yellow liver, red liver, yellow liver. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to episode 51 of Close Encounters Call-In. Before we get into our stories, let's cover a couple of cool new developments in the quest for extraterrestrial life. Scientists have recently discovered large amounts of a chemical created by microorganisms in the atmosphere of Venus. This could be evidence of possible life on a planet we've been overlooking all this time. What do you think? I thought that sounded pretty good. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, one second. Hello, this is Marie. Hey Marie, it's good to talk to you again. Yeah, for sure. How have you been, Spencer? Been pretty alright. I've been working on this podcast all morning. What about you? Just vibing with my specimens. Things at the lab have been fun, but we can chat more about that later. Let's do this. I want to get famous. Alas, your flattery will not work on me. Either that or you're drastically overestimating the popularity of this podcast. Alas, he has outwitted me again. You about ready to start? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna click the thing. Calling into Close Encounters today is Marie. She's been on our show a few times, so welcome back. Thanks! Care to introduce yourself for any noobs out there? Yeah. I'm a lab assistant at Caltech in the Planetary Science Division. I'm a graduate student there, too. I mostly study extrasolar planets. It's really exciting work. That does sound like really exciting work. I'd love to ask you more about that later on, but... The big question. Have you met any aliens lately? I think I might have. I was walking along the beach when I saw these unusual white lights. I stayed and watched them for a couple of hours, but they were so bright it was hard for me to see anything. Then something flew over my head and then back out towards the water, and I left a fine gray powder all over me. Holy shit, that sounds like an amazing experience. Uh, did you get any samples of the powder? At the time, I couldn't believe it was happening. But yeah, I took some samples and I brought them to the lab and ran some tests. It had the same components as seawater, but completely rearranged. No natural chemical process I know of could have done that. That, that's, that's, that's incredible. Wow. It was almost unbelievable. Hey, you're not far from Pasadena, right? We could stay it out sometime together. It's nice to find someone who takes these things really seriously. I, I'd honestly love to. Uh, that's kind of why I started this whole podcast, is so I could speak with other like-minded alien enthusiasts. Uh, except for Carlton, that is. Carlton? That would be my fish. I'm sure he's a superb listener. He doesn't actually have any ears, but it's the heart that counts. So, Spencer, I was wondering if you'd like to hang out in person sometime? Maybe? I'd Love to, yeah, sure, totally. That sounds like, that sounds rad. Cool. So there's this planetarium show that happens every Friday. Do you want to come with me this week? Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, that sounds great. Well, pick me up at 7.30 then. I'll text you the address. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you then. Anyway, back to aliens. Yeah, yeah, yes, back to aliens. Um, so the, uh, the, you said you saw powder in, uh, right? So... Yeah, she's pretty cool. Oh, I, I, I forgot to ask her something, I should call her. Oh, 
message received. Please be from outer space. Crap, Carlton, this is this is really impressively encoded. Come on, come on. It's gonna take a while to figure out what it says. Alright, I don't need your sass, alright? I can I can do this. <sighs> Any ideas? Almost time, Carlton. I can do this. Can I do this? I can do this. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yes. Marie. Oh, hi. I am so, so sorry. I am uh, disrespectful, dishonorable. I should take a samurai sword and stab myself. I've, I'm so sorry. But get this, they got in touch with me. They, they reached out to me and they sent me a coded message. Who? The aliens. They're listening to the podcast and they sent me a coded message and I was decoding that instead of talking to you. And when I was at the place that they wanted to meet me, all I could think about was how much I wished that you were there with me to see it. And I'm so sorry. I, I screwed up. Wow. That's pretty incredible. I wish I could have been there to see it too. I was so excited about it that I wasn't thinking super clearly. I promise next time I'm summoned by the Imperial Senate, you will be the first to know. Yeah. It's okay. I'd be pretty excited too. Look, do you want to come with me? Uh, we can go back there and see if they're still around. 